Good morning. I'm sitting here outside watching my beautiful pheasants running back and forth like crazy in their pen. We're going to actually be starting to um, build an aviary for them. It's going to have to be small at first, but anyway. Just wanted to say hello to everyone out there. I'm not really used to this vlogging thing, so I'm going to see how this works. Anyway, this I'll show you our you can, I can turn this around, you might be able to see. Ring neck pheasants. One male, two females. Anyway, it's uh, a day today, Monday, May 25th. And, um, so yeah, just a few days ago, I got the, I attempted to get all the gray out of my hair using some wonderful hair dye that my daughter was kind enough to buy for me. And it turns out that it didn't work because a lot of the uh, dye washed out on the first wash. So that was kind of disappointing, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I was watching on YouTube a few videos regarding the KonMari, I think that's how it's pronounced, way of organizing your house. And I always tell people I hate filth. Well, I hate filth, I hate clutter, I hate things not being in place. Um, I'm very next door to OCD on having things kind of really positioned in a certain way. Um, not necessarily calling it feng shui, but just um, having things look pleasant, look kind of flowy when you walk into the house. And when I want to find something, I don't want to have to fiddle through drawers and, and closets, whether it's in the kitchen or bedroom. So the suggested method is to begin with your clothing. So this should be interesting because what it says that we should be doing is taking all of our clothing, putting it in the middle of a room, and then um, getting that shock effect of realizing how much stuff you actually have. And radical inventory itself is probably going to show that, um, sorry, I'm just watching our birds as I'm talking here, but, Anyway, radical inventory of self is probably going to show that I'm wearing less than 50% of what I actually have. And then seeing that pile on the bed is going to have me pick up every piece of clothing one by one and doing, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the term that she used, beautiful young woman that does this. Uh, she's a professional, actually. She's hired to go into people's homes and declutter their homes. But if it just inspires joy to pick up that garment, hold it against yourself, and if you feel a sense of joy and you keep it, you learn how to fold it correctly for easy accessibility, and then you put it in your drawers. And if you don't, if it kind of depresses you, then you just get rid of it. So, like I said, I have a feeling I'm probably going to be left with about 30 to 40 percent of what I actually have in my inventory. And that's great. That's perfect. You start off with your clothing because that kind of trains the mind to think of really looking at your what you have. And it, it's easier to start training the brain to what, what brings you joy as opposed to what doesn't than to go through what's at the bottom of the list, which is your, your mementos, your your keepsakes. Because you really have to go through your entire house and, and just pull everything out and, and go through it all. So, um, clothing. What don't I wear? Just really tons and tons and tons. So, yeah, I just thought I'd take this lovely Monday morning before the rain and thunderstorms hit and it's very amusing to see the pheasants just kind of watching me and hopefully in time they'll get used to seeing me and they're just so terribly skittish compared to the uh, the hens that used to sit up here you know my, my cuddle bun even my australorp is so cuddly compared to these guys they just they pop up. Mind you, I've got Paleo, the male, sitting in the back corner, falling asleep to the sound of my voice, which is very cute. But if I went up to actually try to touch him, 
he would be popping up and smashing his head on the chicken wire up above and they're really lovely to look at but um, the cuddle factor is not there so anyway if you haven't looked into the KonMari method of organizing your home and having things just look really really tidy um, I would definitely look into it check her out uh, just a cute cute short you know just me soaring up at five foot nine, I, I look at these cute short women and think, my goodness, I, I'm always in the uh, nosebleed section of life because you know, I'm almost six feet tall and I don't need to be that tall. Anyway, have a very blessed day and hopefully I'll chat with you all soon and uh, I'll be a little less stuttery in time. Take care and many blessings. Just, I wanted to add a little postscript here. See, there behind me is the uh, is our wonderful hens. You may or may not be able to see our beautiful black or She's my cuddle buddy. Anyway, encouragement for the day. Stop putting Roundup on your dandelions. I don't know where the misinformation came out, but somewhere we decided that dandelions were a noxious weed, that they, they're not desirable. So we're going to go ahead and poison the soil by um, killing these things and then, um, you know, we're not going to benefit from the nutrition. I'm actually reaching into, this is like a really nice, uh, it's kind of in the middle of our property here, but a bunch of trees and a lot of dandelions grow around here so I'm going to go ahead and pick a little so here's dandelion okay. this is not a noxious weed to be destroyed it's actually salad cleans the liver really good for you so yeah have a dandelion today your liver will thank you and the rest of you as well. Shalom.